Hi team and welcome back. I'm Ruben from Link Academy and in this session we're going to be covering how to invoice imagery items from a project. As some of you might know, Zero Project is one of the few job management tools that also has an inventory aspect to it that we're able to use. One of the strengths of that is we're able to assign inventory items to a project and invoice those values out. One of the weaknesses of that is the only method we can reduce our stock on hand for our inventory products is to expressly include those items on a customer invoice. So that's what we're going to be doing in this session. Before we get started with invoicing out our inventory items using Zero Projects, I just want to touch on what an inventory item is. So under accounts and inventory, this is our Zero uh, inventory list, and there's two types of products in here. We have uh, tracked items, being products that for which we track our stock on hand or quantity on hand, and untracked items, the ones that just help us uh, enter supplier invoices quicker or invoice our customers a bit faster. So in this session, we're talking specifically about tracked inventory items. So here's a couple I'm using uh, as examples. A couple I've prepared earlier. We have a, a Blue Jay uh, embroidered logo classic and a Blue Jay embroidered logo modern. And you'll notice they both have a quantity on hand. And that is because if we uh, open one of these up and uh, edit it, for example, you will see that they are tra a tracked item. Okay, so we, we manage the inventory for this asset. What that means is that it's very important that we not only use this um, item code when we're purchasing it on our supplier invoices, but when we're invoicing a customer, we must be using this item code as well in order to reduce our stock on hand. So how do we do that with zero projects? Here's how, remember that number there, 17. So in this scenario, we have a project for custom embroidered jackets and we're going to add these logos to this jacket. So we've drawn these items from our inventory in order to apply them to this project and we want to then invoice that out. Fantastic, here's how we do that. So uh, inside our project here, if we click add and expense, we want to type in uh, logo. You remember how many we had on hand? Uh, modern logos, I think we had 17. Uh, there we go, Blue Jay logo embroidered modern. Uh, unit cost is the, uh, the cost of those logos to us. We're going to apply five um, of our 17 to this particular job. And what's important about this is that this must be chargeable. The only way we can reduce our stock on hand is, this, is if this line item appears on a customer invoice, okay? It's not going to appear on a customer invoice if we mark this as non-chargeable. So even um, if we are uh, reducing our stock on hand um, by five units to apply to this project, but we're not going to be invoicing the customer expressly, you don't have a choice. We need to be invoicing our customer expressly for these tracked inventory items when using zero projects and inventory together. So this must be chargeable, and in here we must type in what we're going to charge. Now that can be zero dollars. Um, that's fine. That, as long as that quantity is a positive number and the chargeable is marked as yes. We're going to click save. Great, so we've recognized that expense. Now, the best practice is actually to invoice this out immediately after adding it. What that'll do um, is reduce our stock on hand. What you'll notice is that although zero products and uh, zero inventory work together, um, when we the stock on hand does not reduce until we actually invoice that customer out. So if I refresh my page here, you'll notice it'll still say 17 not the 12 uh, that we actually have on the shelf right now after applying the five to the, the jackets. Cool, so the best practice is actually invoice this out immediately. Now you're also limited as well as, well as um, ensuring that the product is, the inventory item is chargeable and um, included on an invoice. Uh, we must um, invo use a task and expenses invoice. So if you're invoicing a project amount, um, obviously that's gonna bring across a single line item uh, as we covered in prior sessions for the percentage or progress or fixed value that you choose to, to invoice. That's not going to feature that uh, those logos as a single line item, as a uh, separate line item on a customer invoice to reduce our stock on hand, okay? So we must be doing a task and expensive invoice. Cool, so it's brought up all the task and expenses to date. Um, now if you've um, been doing progress invoices up to this point, um, it's fine to untick all of the, those and you can just choose your um, logo embroidered modern, that's the only line item we need. So this will create a zero value invoice uh, for this customer and reduce our stock on hand, which is what I'm gonna do now. So perhaps um, I've taken a deposit, I've invoiced another 20% on top of that for these jackets, and I just need to apply some inventory items to this uh, project, this is the way we're gonna do it. So we're gonna invoice them out, but at zero value, uh, that's gonna reduce our stock on hand. So if we click uh, go to draft invoice, this is what's going to occur. This is the end result of what you want. Okay, so here's the customer, it's a zero value invoice. Uh, it's gonna close itself as paid as soon as we approve it, 
but you need that item as a separate line in here and that quantity because it's using that number to reduce our 17 here. So at the moment that'll still say 17, but once I click approve, this is the magic um, magic moment. Here we go. Cool. Approved invoice. If I refresh this now, zero recognize that we now only have 12, just like that. So I'll take you through one more scenario, this time where we invoice out an inventory item from a project, but actually include it with a value on the invoice. So if we go back to our project here, we'll leave this one as is. Uh, we're gonna um, go and add a new item now, like so. Cool, and we'll do the same, same project. Add expense. This time we'll do a classic. We've only got five of those, so I'm gonna use three. I'm gonna include a unit cost, always chargeable. We know that now. And we're going to include a unit price. So they cost me $5.20. I'm going to um, chart, uh, sell them at $10 each. Okay. So the customer is going to have an item on their invoice that says three times $10 being $30 for these, uh, this product here. So I'm going to click save. Now, um, again, just like our last scenario, that itself has not reduced your stock on hand. So I can't emphasize that enough. Just adding an item to a product will not reduce your stock on hand. So if we open up our uh, classic logo, it still says five. Okay. What we now need to do is generate an invoice and it must be a task and expense based invoice. That's another thing I can't emphasize enough. Uh, tasks and expenses, but this time it's an easier scenario. Perhaps we're in a construction based industry where we're just charging labor. Maybe I'm building a fence. Uh, it's uh, eight hours at this rate and I use this timber, this timber, this timber, these nails, etc. Okay, so um, I'm just going to untick all the things I don't need. Just my embroidery labor and we're gonna I'm going to charge the customer for three jackets. Okay, so I'm going to... Um, Go to draft invoice, and you notice it looks very similar to the last invoice we generated, except this time it's going to carry across uh, that unit price. Okay, so the uh, the customer's going to see that exact line. If I go and print my PDF, and uh, just get a bit of a preview about what a customer would would, would see when they receive our invoice, um, this is what it would look like. Fantastic, cool. So uh, obviously design that up any way you like, but. Um, yeah, you see there's a specific line item there and you can do a lot to modify this uh, But that's the subject of another session. Okay, so that was uh, how to invoice out a uh, Inventory item from zero products where we actually do charge expressly for that inventory item So there you have it if you were using tracked inventory items in zero and zero products together There are two things you need to keep in mind the items you add to your products must be chargeable It's the only way we can reduce uh, the stock on hand by sending a customer invoice and the other one is you must be generating an invoice using the tasks and expense method. So not the project amount, the task and expense method. Okay, so that's going to ensure that you keep your stock on hand accurate and your project profitability.